Hi everyone, it's Scrappy Kathy here with Simple Story Saturday and Scrap Timber. So we are going to use um, old and new Simple Stories products. Let me tell you the lines I'm using. Um, <clears throat> Simple Vintage Coastal, I'm using both sides of this paper. And um, what is this one is are we there yet and it's um this paper and this paper and then these others are i, I don't know that that they're actually part of a collection it's a set of six by twelve inserts for um like uh, pocket pages, Project Life uh, pages, and I've had them forever, uh, s since before I actually was making uh, 12 by 12 pages. So there's, what I've done is I just randomly cut uh, triangles, and whereas in the and they, they have square ends. I'm gonna to have to put two pieces together to get that square in. And instead of having stitching down the middle, I'm gonna have a seam where the two different papers come together. So what I have done is I cut them and, and kind of threw them down here. And I'm going to kind of place them around. I'm gonna, I've, I've put, I've distressed the edges and I've put uh, tape behind. So let me kind of, I'm going to do, I have to work on the placement. I want to make sure this doesn't go off the page. So I'm going to put it down first and then I'm going to go all the, all around. And if it's not even, I don't care. <laughs> just, just to let you know, I'm not going for, um, <clears throat> even or or balanced or anything like that here and I don't care if the middles overlap because um let's see if I, I do want to kind of I want to see where the trouble is going to be and it's going to be with this one so let me get that one Undone. I got a new <laughs> roll of tape <laughs> and, and it's huge and I have trouble storing it. <laughs> trouble figuring out where it goes. And I've got crumbs from um, <clears throat> something just fell and I'll never find it. I'll have to get on my hands and knees and go looking on the floor. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea what I was saying. That's a, let's see, that might be, I wanted the, the you know, I kind of want the seam, the, the distressing in the center to show. Okay, so if we go here and here, that's the one that's going to have trouble, and then I have to do this one like this. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. I love this side of the paper. It is absolutely scrumptious, and I guess that's a, a scrapbooking term. Can you call a paper design scrumptious. I guess I just did. This doesn't look like it's been distressed on the center seam. And we can't have that. I love this bamboo paper so much that I'm using it even though it has this little bit of um, what was a text. Um, bit <clears throat> on it. Okay, so we're, we may be, 
I may need to put these. We're going to run out of room if I don't, if I do that. I'm going to kind of do this here and that there. And then this and this go here. These are maybe a little closer together than these last ones are going to be. If I do it like that, and then this like this, that leaves, well, and, and you know, I don't really care. I'm going to say that that, I don't think that's gonna matter. I want this to be, I don't want any of these to be parallel with the sides. Normally I try for things to be parallel, <clears throat> but not today. And I know that's upside down, but I can always turn this, and I think I will, so that that's on the bottom and that's not upside down, because I think that will make a difference. <laughs> Um, that's not, the right paper to go there. That doesn't go with that either. I need something that gives that a flat. <clears throat> okay, this should do that. Isn't that what was there? I might have had it turned around. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not all here <laughs> at the moment. Okay, so is this how did that get turned around? Because that doesn't work either. Am I missing a piece? Because that's straight, that's straight, that's straight. And these are two of the wrong pieces. I'm going to cut this and one of these should work okay. that works all right <laughs> And I'll have two of those to go somewhere else. And Lisa, if you're watching, you know how much I love triangles. So I'll always find a use for those. Let's see. That needs to be... Like that, I guess. And then I need to distress this. And I can't wait till we actually start putting things together. The photo I'm using here is one that I, I was, um, was looking for something else and I ran across this and I haven't scrapped it. And it's one of my favorite photos that um, I took in, in Europe last year when I went to the UK <coughs> for the... Um, Flare Hut, um, Dottie About Flare, uh, Crop, and the Vicky Booten Cruise. And the photo was taken in Bilbao. And 
We had just been shopping. I had just bought a bathing suit at um, Corte Inglés. Okay, so there, <laughs> there we are. And Adam had found in the store some Disney character um, hand puppets. <laughs> and so he bought those. So I took a very dramatic uh, portrait photo, photo with my um, phone. And <laughs> it's just, it's silly and I thought it would be cute. So I have deconstructed a postcard and it was um, a page in a, um, a six by eight album, I, I suppose. And so there are holes there, but I think I'm gonna be covering up the holes. So I'm thinking it'll go like that. And then I'm gonna do the frame so that the word postcard sort of shows through. I'll do it like that. And then the photo can go kind of like that. I think that's gonna work and then we'll start um, embellishing. So let me... Get that down. Okay, and I want to put the frame on there. Just like so. I probably should put some wet glue to kind of reinforce this. The frames are a new, relatively new, um, probably sometime this year, Vintage uh, Simple Stories, and they are from um, the Let's Go collection. And I had them, I got them in a Mind the Scrap kit, and they had some extras left over, so I ordered those, which is why I still have some. I'll probably go around and kind of shape these um, these bits, but first I want to get the photo. And I, I know I'm covering up those flowers, but we've got these flowers and they don't really go together. So I'm going to kind of put this, let me put some foam behind it. <clears throat> Okay, I think that's where I want it. And now I'm gonna do the title, which is gonna be split. This is fussy cut from one of those, uh, let's, what is it called? Let me find out for sure what that is. Gosh, and I've cut, the branding strip, You Are Here. So I cut this from a You Are Here page, and I'm going to mount it right here, and then I've got this Get Lost piece, which can go kind of I want 
the word to show. So that I have to put that first before I do this. I have um, foam tape, the skinny foam tape on the letters to support them because I fussy cut down into the letter. I, I don't know why I do that. I don't ever like it when I do, and I always regret it, and yet it's so tempting. So there, that holds that down. And then I have a piece of flare because I was actually there for the Dottie About Flare uh, retreat or crop. Let's see where my tweezers are. Let's see if I can get this. I'm gonna put a little glue around the sides. And then I have some other decorations that I can put around. I like this, but I'm gonna need some foam to support it if I run it across there. But I may do that. Let's do the other part of the title. The other part is get lost, eat well, travel often. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right here, which kind of puts it in line with that. And I've got this camera, which can stick out there, and then I've got another flare. I'm gonna do this one without the glue. Yeah, that seems to take, take hold. Okay, now we're gonna embellish. This is the fun part. I have three wooden stars, and I'm going to kind of they're the largest of the extra embellishments I have. So I'm going to put one there and one here by where I, this, this word strip is going to go. Let me get the word strip on there. I'm thinking I may just need one piece of of um, flare, listen to me, of foam. Nope, I need to. And fortunately, I have two. I have two already. <clears throat> and then I can put a little liquid glue on here but I'm absolutely sure where that's gonna go. I'll do it like that. And it looks like I need another strip of foam. So before I press it down, too hard. And I normally wouldn't advise this, and I may be sorry I did it, but I like this placement so well that I want it, I'm willing to risk it. Okay, so that is parallel with this, and that's good. Okay, so this star is pretty much there, and I'm gonna put this other one over here, not, not near any, any cluster. I have this 
this Mickey Mouse head, and as a nod to the fact that those are Disney characters, I thought I might put it right there. Uh, this and the Mickey Mouse head are Bramble Fox. And I have this asterisk, which I will put, it's a color that's, we don't have anywhere else. Well, I guess there's some navy blue there, but, um, so I'm just gonna, I think I'll put it here and I will scooch it under there because all of that's gonna get kind of turned up once all the embellishments are down. And it's going to be a crazy busy looking page and so you'll know it's mine. <laughs> Okay, I have these little things, which are called Holy Moly, which are also from Bramble Fox. And their color goes so well with this um, <laughs> It goes well with And these were not together. It goes so well with the, the Simple Vintage Coastal. Let me put this, where do I want this? I don't want it on here because it's too tone on tone. And normally I like that, but let's go here. I'll wipe that glue away. And then I'll put the other one up with that star. Okay, I have some sequins. I have a little black airplane from Bramble Fox. This was part of a free gift for Foxbox subscribers. And I'm gonna put it right there. There was some, <laughs> some flying involved and it was not the... <laughs> It was not the best. Okay, there are a couple of these adhesive brads that will work. This one is a camping tent. This one says staycation, so I'm not gonna use those, but this looks like it might be cute right there. And this one has a little flower, so I'm gonna put it, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put it peeking out from under there. And I'll kind of reinforce that tear that's there. So this also has a little tag that says, let's go. And I don't know that I have a place for it, but it would kind of be cute, wouldn't it? This is kind of plain looking to me, but I, I'm at a loss for how to um, embellish it. The only place I might think of using this would be maybe next to that frame or, or tucked under it or something. And I don't see that happening. So that goes on another page down the road. So I'll put that away. And now I have sequins. This is not looking cohesive to me. So before I do the sequins, I'm gonna do something with my pen. I'm going to doodle a border around these guys so that you can tell that they're together. And 
And then I might do a little tiny stitchy looking thing in the middle. And I have no idea how that's gonna look as we go around, but on this one, I'm already happier with that. I know why I don't like it, and you probably do too. It's because it's beige. There's a lot of beige in some of these older bits. Okay. This is beige, but it that that's fine because it's bamboo. Beige is okay if it's on bamboo. I know I'm picky. Those aren't quite as close together as the others. I, I think it's looking more cohesive as we go around. I guess that's because, oh, you know what? I was gonna turn this over. Oh my goodness, I didn't do that. So this is upside down forever. That's just the way it is. Oh my gosh, can't believe I did that. Or, yeah, I can believe it. And so can you, probably. Um, so we'll have an upside-down palm tree conch shell and scallop shell and seahorse. Why not? Let's call it part of the story. I'm sure... I'm sure that's not going to be the main thing that people question about this page. <laughs> Why is that upside down? Um, okay, so sequins. Where do I want sequins? I'm thinking I would like a kind of almost a spill of them here. And I might bring the spill sort of over here. So I'm going to just spill the sequins and let them stick where they wish to stick. And then, these are patina finish and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're the perfect color for what we have going on here. Okay, so this is, oh, that's gonna be hard to sweep over because this is a clingy mat. So I'm going to kind of brush them off to the side and then bring this back. And it's going to be a little bit, uh, you're going to lose being able to see it there. But that should be okay. This is the only place that anything is going on anyway. So let me get this and put this big one there. And now let me see if there's anywhere else I would want to do sequins. Maybe right in here. And I might just do a few individually placed ones instead of doing my spill.
and I need a small one. And I'm not really gonna do much more than that, actually. I think this one's probably gonna fall off. This one might as well. The rest of these are pretty well anchored in. I need to fill a little space right here. And I think we're done. So I'm going to give those a chance to stick and I can go back and individually replace ones that haven't stuck. I've got lost my pen here. And I may add some journaling. I may take advantage of this to put some journaling. So thank you for watching and happy Simple Story Saturday. And be sure to catch, I will have a list of the channels of all of those who are playing along this month. And I hope you'll check them out and see what they're doing with their Simple Story stash. And um, check out the Scrap Timber folks because there's a new prompt every day in September. And there are a million people participating and it's so much fun. Thank you for watching. Bye.